Welcome to another edition of JavaScript for you. This morning I wanted to demonstrate something that I haven't really gone over before, and that is it's often convenient to run a function as a page loads. You can also load run functions as page as exit, but that would be more for dropping cookies or saving data, something like that. On load, you quite frequently would want to hide sections of the page, reveal sections of the page, you know, do something to set the initial state. So for instance, if you had a typical kind of blog comment kind of thing, and you had some content and you had a comment, you might want to on load run an init function, and the idea of the init function is, if you have this paragraph with a comment class, then toggle it, meaning it starts off in a shown state, so you're going to toggle it to hidden, so that later when you take this button and you toggle between hidden and show state, you can reveal the stuff. So to give you an idea, here's that page, and you notice all we're looking at is the content area. We hit the button, and we go ahead and reveal the comments. And this would be the way an awful lot of sites work. If you go to any of the new pages that use Facebook comments for their comment sections, instead of you know something like Discuss, you'll see that this is the way the Facebook comments work, is you can toggle the hide show, and as you add new comments, they just reveal themselves. This is the way a lot of these things work, and it's really a very simple thing. On load, you set the initial state, and then you have some additional functionality on the page, like this button, that will toggle that state. And that's really all there is to it. You can set a load function quite easily. You come in here to the body and you say on load, and you give it a name of a function to run, or you could put the JavaScript directly in line there. Typically, it's better to put a function there because then you could have that function and maybe other functions run. And then up here in your script area, you have the function. And in this case, that's all it's doing. So, it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with JavaScript.